So this question will carry on. So here's the first question. Here is the second question. And then there's a third question. Okay, so let's start. It says that Jane has a cell phone on a prepaid arrangement with a network that provides one gigabyte of data at a cost of 149 Rand. Okay, and then these are just little conversions over here. And then at table two shows a list of cell phone applications that Jane updated um, and the data used to update. Okay, so you've got YouTube, Messages, Facebook, Dropbox, Google Drive, all of these things that she updated. It says, determine the data that was used to update Facebook. Okay, so you see how they've given us the values to update all of these different apps. Now, they told us that the total data was 400,45. So that we can use that number together with these four numbers to work out what Facebook should have been. So, because we know that the 27,45 plus the 90 plus the Facebook, which I'll just call X, plus the 43 plus the 125, if you add all of that together, it's supposed to give you 400,45. Now it just becomes a mathematical thing. So there's different ways you could do this. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go add these four values together so long. I'm just gonna go type those four numbers on my calculator. Okay, and that gives us 285.45. Uh, then we're still gonna say plus X and then equals to 400 comma 45. Now there's different ways of handling this next part. So you must obviously do what's comfortable, but what you eventually wanna end up with is that X is gonna be equal to 400 comma 45 minus 285,45. And if you had to go do that, you should end up with 115, and then remember the units, megabytes or MB. Okay, so that is what um, the data for Facebook. The next question says, calculate the total cost of the data used in updating the above five cell phone applications. So that's the one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we need to know the previous answer, which was 115 megabytes. If you're ever nervous in a test, because you think you maybe got this one wrong, then remember that they'll mark with your original answer, okay? Because obviously if you got the previous question wrong, you're also gonna get this one wrong, but they know that. So they'll just take your previous answer and they'll still see what you would have done and then they'll still give you marks, okay? They mark with your mistake. So don't ever, because you couldn't do the first question, just give up on all of the others, okay? They'll mark with your mistakes. So we know that the cost of data, um, they give a, for one gigabyte, um, that's 149 Rand. Okay, so what we can do is we can say that one gigabyte is 149 Rand. Okay, now we slowly but surely have to change the one gigabyte all the way down to 400,45 megabytes. Okay, so I think let's first change the gigabyte to megabyte. So we know that one gigabyte is 1,000 megabytes. Okay, so we can say 1,000 megabytes that'll also be 149 Rand, because these two are the same. Now, okay, I just moved it up here to get a bit more space. Now, all that you do now is you just try get this to become one megabyte. How can I change this to one megabyte? What could I divide this number with to become a one? Well, well done if you said that you can divide this by a thousand, but what you do to the one side, you must do to the other side. So that's gonna give us one megabyte, okay? And then on the right-hand side, you're gonna end up with 0, 0,149. Just don't round this off, because we're busy doing a conversion, okay? So they're saying that one megabyte is now this price. Now, we realize that we don't have one megabyte, we have 400,45 megabytes. So all that you do now is you multiply this number what, what can you multiply this number with to get this number? Well, you could just multiply it by 400,45 because one multiplied by that is just gonna give us that. And then what you do to the one side, you have to do to the other side. Okay. 
So on the left, we're going to end up with 400,45 megabytes. And if you type this on the calculator, we end up with 59 Rand. Now you can round off to two decimal places, comma 67. So it'll cost 59 Rand and 67 cents to be able to update all of those apps. Okay, now this question says, calculate the data balance in kilobytes remaining after updating all of the applications. Okay, so remember that um, Jane receives one gigabyte, okay? That's how much she receives in the beginning. So let's draw a circle. She gets one gigabyte. Now, okay, now um, let's just change everything to kilobytes because they've asked us to work in kilobytes. So to change a gigabyte to a kilobyte, um, you can do the following. So you can say that one gigabyte equals 1000 megabytes. Okay. Now to go from megabyte to kilobyte, you have to multiply by a thousand. You see, to change one, so, so, so one megabyte becomes a thousand kilobytes. So we're going to have to um, multiply this by a thousand. Okay. So a thousand megabytes. Uh, if you multiply that by a thousand, it becomes one million kilobytes. So we have one million kilobytes, okay? Now, this is in megabyte. So we could say 400,45 megabyte. Then to change that to kilobyte, remember you have to multiply it by a thousand. And that's going to become 400,000. 450 kilobytes. So if we think about a big circle, at the beginning of each month, she receives 1 million kilobytes. Um, she uses 40, 400, sorry, 400,450 kilobytes to update all of her apps. So we got to work out this leftover amount. So the way that you would do that is you'll just say 1 million, take away 400,000. 450 and if you work that out you get um, 599,550 uh, and that's kilobytes.